Heat your coconut oil in the pressure cooker, add your dry chili, add the cumin and the mustard seeds and allow to splatter. Add curry leaves and all the other hard spices. Once the dry chili turns to a darker color, then add your onions. When your onions turn golden brown, then add the dal, the soaked dal, and then you will add the turmeric and black pepper, and you will then add the remainder of the dal and the rice. Add a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and your salt to taste. Give it all a good stir, add boiling water until it covers the dal and the rice and maybe a little bit more. Stir it all again together and then cover it with the lid and allow it to cook. Once the kitchri is ready, you will have to do a second braising. Half a chopped onion, dry chili, cumin and mustard seeds with a little bit of black pepper. Pressure cooker would have whistled twice, that means it's ready. Set aside and let off egg steam if you like, or let it rest while you prepare for your second braising. Start off by heating the pan with the oil, add the dry chili and add the cumin seeds and the black mustard seeds followed by the onion once the seeds have splattered. Once pressure has been released from the pressure cooker, open the lid, add half a cup of water and stir. Then add it to another pot and mix. Once your onions are nicely golden brown, add it to the khichri. Then add butter or ghee and continue to mix and your khichri is then done. Serve plain or with the chili jars, chili tomato relish or chili bomb, plain tomato chutney or a curry and enjoy.